It's Rach from Spiritual and Angelic Guidance. I'm here to do a reading for Pisces, and this will be for the 12th to the 18th of July, 2021. If you've seen my readings before, welcome back. Thanks for the support. If you haven't, welcome to my page. I hope it resonates. If it's ours, please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Just know it's a general reading. It's not going to suit every person out there, so take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Time can be fluid, energy can be vice versa, so keep that in mind. I'm also going to be using Tarot, Oracle, and also the new deck that I bought yesterday um, as well. So I'm super excited about that. Believe in your own magic. All right, let's go. Pisces. So if something is not giving you your happy family life, your stability, your, your money... Come on. They're doing something that is not good. They're doing something that where somebody's being dishonest, deceptive, acting strategic, could have stole from you. Um, there's some embarrassing secrets, a material loss. Make sure you're being honest with yourself. And then... You've got the Ace of Cups, so some new beginning, some new love, a romantic relationship or a deep friendship, um, a new home, that kind of situation. And then you've got the Release card, which is the same as the Death card, which is endings be changes, endings leading to new beginnings, um, releasing people or situations that hold you back. It's also working on yourself. And then you've got the devil card where you're feeling like you're trapped. The devil card is somebody who has addictions, drug sex, money, alcohol, gambling, could have obsessions, could be codependent, um, some sort of unhealthy habit. So not all good cards at all. Now you need, you're going to need to protect what you've created. Never give up. Be prepared to stand your ground and protect what you've created. I feel like you're not taking the next steps and progressing with somebody. But you've got ten of swords. You're resisting this inevitable end. Right, so let's find out more about ten of pentacles in reverse. So there's lack of stability, lack of financial stability or security. Um, you've got the six of pentacles as well. So somebody is what you give, you get back. But also it can be choices and it can also mean um, somebody giving to other people. And then under the bottom you've got Deception and Envy. Seven of Swords, exact same card as what's here, the next card. Seven of, if I can turn it. Seven of Swords, Seven of Swords. Both the same. There is Deception going on. And there's the tower movement. There's going to be some tower movement. The universe is going to be like enough is enough. This needs to end. So the tower comes in, makes some sudden unwanted change, gives you some sort of revelation, awakening, something, some big upheaval. Um, King of Swords is somebody who has some mental clarity. So I feel like you're going to find out something, um, the truth about a situation for what it is, and you're going to go and be a free spirit. And there'll be no communication with this person. Right, then we have, as I said, the Seven of Swords, someone being deceptive, and then there's going to be a new romantic love. Tell me more. You're not wanting to break cycles. You're resisting breaking cycles with somebody, probably because it affects your everyday things. Food, money, safety, shelter. Tell me about the Ace of Cups. Why is the Ace of Cups here? I mean, is this person going to want to marry you? Is this Trust your intuition about this person, though. Because they're like the devil, as I said. Can you tell me anything more about the Ace of Cups? Ugh. It's like someone's keeping secrets. Could be a third party.
but the situation is probably going to be looked at like a lost opportunity because the uh, ace of pentacles in reverse is under that tell me more king of cups i just thought wonder what the copy what, what it is for you guys pisces um it's the knight of cups for pisces so you're aware but i thought it was king so we've got the king of cups um that came out the deck that's somebody who is supportive and intuitive and emotionally balanced <coughs> wise they could describe you or someone you're definitely not wanting to let go of something go though you're stalling resisting indecisive but you need to make a choice and then release you are you are going to let go of someone that's like the devil energy you're going to let go of this person who has addictions and it's going to take everything inside you to get through it. it's going to be a struggle you're going to feel overwhelmed but you can do it keep your boundaries up and then things are going to get better like i said i think i said before i'm not sure but things are going to get better i'm going to put that there because it's a good reminder speak your truth as well with the throat chakra card Because you are going to go through emotional loss. Temperance, self-healing. Do some self-healing. This situation was a burden. And there's the Ten of Pentacles, the same as the first card. It's not offering you this stability and security and all that that you want. Tell me more, Pisces. You got, you deserve sugar, not salt, and something lovely will grow from this. And that was in reverse. So something lovely is not going to grow from this. And you deserve, evil queen, you deserve sugar, not salt, was in reverse as well. So I'll read that in a second. Release your guilt. Paint the sun back into your sky. So get back and being more positive. Every hurricane comes to an end. Let them go. It's going to be a storm and then let them go. Pretty clear to me. I just don't know what this sugar and salt one means. True. Someone in your life is mistreating you. You keep trying to see the good in them, but they just keep disappointing you again and again. Some people don't deserve second chances. As difficult as it may be, this is your sign you need to cut them loose. Unfollow them and block their number. It's time to move on. Do whatever it takes to find some inner peace, for it's just as precious as gold. Pretty clear to me. So your soulmate may, may differ from your expectations. You may think they need to look a certain type or whatever, but they don't. Um, there might be somebody that's going to be like that who you may know and those feelings are going to be worth exploring. Devil card. Somebody with addictions, obsessions, codependent. You need to get rid of this person out of your life. Rest and recover. Rest and reconsider, sorry. Take some time. Be like the hermit. Soul searching, introspection. Spend time by yourself. It doesn't mean by yourself completely, but just not with this person. Spend some time with some friends. Just be by yourself even. Don't spend time in nature. Tell me more. You have lack of patience. I mean, you want things to happen now, now, now. And you've got magician and the mirror. 
in reverse. You may be missing a great opportunity. You're not taking advantage of the creative energy of the cycle. You do have the power to transform things for yourself, to create something new. You may be resistant or even disbelieving of the unlimited power you possess and it's time to wake up. Your life is the mirror that reflects your inner energy, yet you have the ability to change what you see. You must fully open up to the complete truth of your eternal wisdom, talents and abilities and take the risk of believing in yourself. Dig deep, find the confidence and courage within to make the most of this opportune cycle. You have the resources you need, which is what the other card said, and the unlimited force of the universe is at your disposal. It's waiting for you to recognize and ignite the phenomenal powers that are eternally yours. What the other card said. Okay, lucky last couple of shovels. Pisces. Time is needed. Don't make reactive or impulsive decisions. Consider all perspectives. Make a plan. Be clear about your goals. Know you're worthy. It never got to a high level of commitment. Somebody fears abandonment, but you need to put up your boundaries. Um, somebody could have made a fake profile, but also, and maybe they're stalking you. Also, seek partners with core values that are the same as yours. All right, on the bottom, the grass is greener in reverse. Maybe it's like the grass is greener over there. It doesn't mean it's necessarily true. All right, that's what I have for you, Pisces. Um, it's all about releasing this person that is like the devil energy. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope it resonates. If it does, please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next reading. Thanks for watching. Bye.